Um, a man wrote me said a uh, fig nailed they got nailed hard you, hard you about the FIU bridge with the NTSB report got nailed hard and you batted a hundred in your final conclusion about the whole mess. Well, I started I wrote him here and he actually already posted it, but I watched the entire three point five hours of it. It was it was it was amazing. A few points amazing in that they don't they never talked about post tensioning failure in the longitudinal cables. They didn't bring it up. They they talked about the structure, the the uh, post tensioning, and the uh, inside here. They when they did their workout, they left out the the bars again, the bars that are here. They didn't bring them up. They didn't bring this up. If I, uh, I'm sorry, NTSB report duck this crack. Yet they still could talk about this is what's supposed to push off twelve. They just talked about interface share failure things like that, but they never went the extra step and said. And then they never, you never hear in 3.5 hours. And then what happened is when they post tensioned, 11 pushed 12 off. They never say it. They never say what would ha what happens next, of course, because they never say that. They just talk about this joint fire, and that's it. Um, they, Danny Pate argues that the, it does have redundancy, that the two redundancy systems are one, was the post tensioning inside the, uh, the, uh, the, the verticals, the diagonals, verticals and diagonals, or I guess uprights and diagonals, the trust members part of this system. But if you, and, and then he says in the, the, the uh, they say in the report that the longitudinal cables is a second system. There's two ways of uh, redundancy of getting it over to the diaphragm. So I think I alluded to that a few times. It doesn't matter. Denny Pace thinking, it doesn't matter if this fails. The whole thing, if you remember in the video, I kept saying, He's thinking, it doesn't matter if it fails. It can just lay on the deck. I've got transverse cables to cover it. Well, I never knew that, right? I never knew that was a position. I did videos on it, but and I didn't look at all the reports because this other collapse uh, took me over. So listening to the NTSB report, that's when I learned that Denny Page says, well, was saying that, and I guess it's in a report because that's what the uh, NTSB stated. So it, so I, my conclusion, my deduction was right on that. Except for I can, he didn't. The failure still happened. Nobody explained the cracks. Now here's an insult to injury. Um, um, the head of NTSB is stating how the Berger did not have uh, qualifications to do it, and to have qualifications you need three engineers that I I'm 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 extrapolating that need to be signed off uh, engineers from Florida that have dealt with this type of structure to be able to evaluate it to be the the uh, Evaluating party, right, of the of the plans, and then uh, um, during that this three hour three point five hour meeting, I'm leaving this image up to remind you that this is what they're claiming pushed this off. This broken leg, a broken fractured leg, kiss my. Uh. So anyway, so then the uh, he's stating the head of the NTSB stating how three you need three engineers that are certified with this type of concrete complicated construction design to be. To be the review board, he says that his two his engineers there for the NTSB, the two professional engineers, and he and he facetiously says, "You didn't get your degree from some a diploma mill, did you?" Meaning you know how you guys can get a degree from a diploma mill, you know you shop around and you can get a degree. Um, so you you uh, and uh, those degrees are out there too. And they the guy was like, "No, no, we uh, we had to take a test for the, profession, the PE professional engineers, two of them." One stated that, the other one didn't state it, but yeah, that's that's the gist of it. So, look what I just said. Two of them. But yet, the the, the FIU, I mean, his, uh, the uh, NTSB report concludes that you need three people certified in this type of bridge evaluation to be able to do the, uh, the evaluation for the plans. His two engineers have are not certified in this bridge of in the advanced concrete as this, as this is advanced concrete uh, complicated systems, they never gave their their uh, certification in that capacity. I don't. They're not certified in Florida. I did look that up. They're not certified in Florida, and there's only two of them. You just told me to review a bridge as complicated as you need three professional engineers that can do complicated st uh, concrete structures, and then you just presented me with two that are not licensed in the state, and who which which we can. Turn a blind eye to it, I guess. 
but they are evaluating a bridge in Florida. I don't care that there's no, ex I don't have an exemption for them being in, in there because they're putting an evaluation in Florida. They're doing, they're, they're practicing their professional engineering in Florida, right? So what do they have? A license in Florida to do that? Tell you, so what do you think? Shouldn't uh, FDOT counter with your two engineers practice uh, professional engineering in Florida and then uh, sanction the two engineers for the NTSB? I'm just throwing it at you guys. Doesn't it make sense? Now, I've had people threaten my license. I'm not practicing here. I'm doing what I'm doing here. It's safe. They actually did a full, you know, practicing engineer thing there. Showed up with the capacity acting as a professional engineer. All right, so now declaring them declaring their degree as part of their statement. So now you are practicing at that point. So you're um you're and they only use two. One, two. He didn't use three, and neither one of them qualified themselves to be advanced in this design evaluation. So I find the the NTSB report to be um part of the thing is you have to be advanced and, and is knowledgeable in this. Well Neither one of them claim to be structural engineers for one, and the, um, and I'm not going to take away from that because I don't you know I don't think much of some structural engineers. No offense to my structural engineers out here. Um, so so the uh, um, and yeah, well that was attack, wasn't it? Apologies all around for that. Um, I don't think much of the. If, in other words, I'm trying to, my biases. I don't care if they would have put uh, SE uh, behind their name. There's two of them. And it's still the plant. It requires you to have advanced knowledge of this. And then they just went on with the narrative to prove that 11, we all know 11, 12 eventually slipped, right? Somehow the failure happened there, 90 happened, 90 degrees there happened. But this didn't do it. This, this, they didn't talk about the capabilities of this. They talked a little bit about the failure in the back, but they never talked about, they showed on their drafts. They stayed away from this side during the entire friggin' presentation. They did not come on this side. All their draw, all their presentations showed the other side of the member. I said they were going to do that. They did it, and I said nobody wants to wants to talk about this crack, and they didn't. I'm triggered. I'm ready to start cursing, and that's going to ruin my YouTube channel. So I'm going to shut up. Put this out there for you. There's a lot more in that in that whole 3.5 hours. This is the gist of it, and you guys know where it goes. Is this capable of pushing off 12? Look at the fracture of this, and it's open. They didn't talk about the twisting after the cracks. They did, man, they did all this stuff I said they wouldn't do. I I'm triggered. I'm hanging up. Oh, I want to curse. I'm going to hang up the video, and then I'm going to curse afterwards.